Good morning, everybody. It's Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. Hope everybody's doing great today. Um, happy Mother's Day if you are celebrating Mother's Day here in America. And let's go ahead and get to it. Um, I think I'm going to take my glasses off because of the glare. So I have some finished objects. I have some works in progress. Um, so yeah, let's just let's get into this. Um, I'm going to start with a surprise project because um, it's a surprise. Nobody knew I was doing it and I didn't even have time to make it, but I made time because several of my um, lovely subscribers have been asking about this. Um, so down here at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen is my ballerina doll. And I've had several people ask me if I could write the pattern and um, I just decided to make time to do that. So um, here is my little sample ballerina girl that I made to um, refine my pattern. And the pattern will be up on Etsy within a day or two of you watching this. So um, enjoy. I will tell you that she's kind of fiddly because she's she's small. I mean, you know, she's the size of my hand. Um, and I think what makes her kind of fiddly is that her arms and legs are only six single crochets in the round. So it's a it's a tight fit. Um, and some of you won't like to crochet like that, and some of you will love to crochet like that. So. Um, if this pattern is for you and you think you'd like to purchase it, um, I would love the support. So, um, her arms and legs are not stuffed because I don't know how you would, you would even stuff, um, an arm and a leg that's only six single crochets in the round. Um, but they don't need to be stuffed because they, they feel fine. Um, and I love that it, her arms and legs are very bendable. Um, there's nothing in them. There's no wire or anything. So they're not going to stay where you put them necessarily. Um, but I just think a little girl would just love, I mean, my fingers love to like play with her arms and legs and, you know, pose her and, you know, have her do little ballerina moves and stuff. And I just, I think a little girl would love that. Um, so... She's got her little hairstyle there. You can put like beads or a ribbon around the bun, which I think would look adorable. I didn't do that. Um, but yeah, so she's just a little fiddly just because she's a little um, not very wide, not very big around. Um, but yeah, so there she is, the ballerina pattern, and she'll be up on my Etsy shop in a day or two. All right. So thank you for those of you who have inspired me to write the pattern, um, and I hope you enjoy. The other finished object is really eight objects. That might be a clue for some of you who know what I've been working on. Um, I have finished my swaddle babies for my girls in my TK classroom. TK meaning transitional kindergarten, which is like pre-K in the rest of the world. <laughs> Don't ask me why. California has to be different. Um, so I made eight of them because I have eight girls. So I'm going to show you them. And they are all made with worsted weight yarn. Um, and they're all made with a G hook. And it's kind of funny. They're all different. <laughs> so here is this little one. And I'm, I don't stuff them very much. I'm, I'm, I leave them so they're very squishy. And I think maybe I could have stuffed the heads maybe a little bit more because the bonnets, this, this bonnet in particular is a little bit big, but hey, it's just, that's just how things are with these. You know, you just never know what you're going to get. So <laughs> it's a surprise process. And so here's another one. And this one is so squishy. Oh, and I, um, I'm going to give my little girls um, a bottle. It's a two inch bottle, party favor. Um, you can get them on Amazon and then they can, you know, hold their little babies and feed their little babies. And so, <laughs> so that's two. And then there's three. I'm going to go a little fast because most of them are this yarn. 
four, but they're all different. Like I said, they're all different. You know, it's just, they have their own personality. I think they do anyway. It's kind of like where you put the hat and, you know, how you, how you sew the face and where you put the eyes. <laughs> this one, I just love her little, I don't know why I love her little, her little smile. Now this one, this one is kind of big. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny because look like compared to the normal like the regular size <laughs> but it's the same brand of yarn but in a different dye lot I mean you can tell the dye lots aren't the same but it's the same I swear it's the same brand of yarn um and if you could notice I actually put this hat it's supposed to go here I, I mix up their hats but that, that's fine the my little five-year-olds are not going to care. Um, anyway, so it just, it's kind of like you never know what you're going to get. Like in life, you know? There's no, there's no, uh, there's no sure thing in life. <laughs> so these are my swaddle babies. They will be going to their new home in a couple weeks. I'll see if I can hold all of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. So next week, I'm going to start making the dinosaurs for the boys. I have to make 10 dinosaurs because I have 10 boys. Hey, cutie, turn around so we can see your face. There we go. Ta-da! <laughs> maybe maybe uh, YouTube will pick that as my, my uh, what do you call that, thumbnail? If not, I think I'm going to put that there for my thumbnail. Um, so yeah, so I have 10 dinosaurs to make. I'm using the Timothy T-Rex pattern. I have not started yet, but I've got all my yarn ready to go to take to work with me to, you know, work on my breaks and stuff and get started on that. Sorry if my bag is making noise here. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of, a lot of baby dolls. So those are my finished objects and I'm really pleased to get the baby dolls done and... I think the girls will love them and I was also able this was this color yarn was all um, my challenge yarn the big tub of yarn that I'm trying to work through just because I don't have room for it anywhere so I'm trying to work through it and I couldn't use challenge yarn for the boys dinosaurs because I didn't have a good color so I had to pull yarn from my regular stash um, but that's fine and all right, so let's go on to works in progress. Um, I have not, oh yeah, for my niece's um, collage style t-shirt quilt, I was telling you last week that I, um, I left spaces in the layout for, um, I specifically wanted to leave spaces because I had a pizza fabric that I wanted to use to cut um, different rectangles and squares out of. So that's what I did last week. So I've got um, different, you know, wherever there was a space so that, I, that I needed a, a quilt square, I cut that um, pizza fabric to fit. And so there's maybe, I don't know, 10, 12 of these, maybe eh, about that. There's a couple bigger ones and there's a, you know, some smaller ones, but like the smallest is two by two. So those are going to be interspersed throughout the quilt. And this is my pile of all of the cut t-shirt squares that are going to go on her quilt. And I, there's over a hundred, I want to say like a hundred and twenty, 119, I think that's what I ended up with. Um, because her quilt's pretty big. <laughs> so it's not king size, but it's, I think it's queen size. So those I need to start sewing together this week. I have three weeks. I want to get everything done. Um, the dinosaurs, the t-shirt quilts, the afghan that I'm working on. My goal is to have everything done by the end of May, which will give me, if I need the extra first week of June to finish something up, I'll have it. But my goal is to get it done. So, yeah. <laughs> but that's, it's a lot. 
but um, I'm, I'm making progress. So that's for my niece's quilt. That's um, those pieces. Like I said, I'm going to start sewing this week. Um, I have cut out. I don't know if you can really see the lines on there. I can't because I don't have my glasses on. But um, there's a diag diagonal lines and then like across. Like I think you can see them. So what you do, or what I do, is I'm going to sew on both sides of the diagonal. And this is for my um, my sister-in-law and her mom. It's the quilts that I'm making for them with the t-shirt scraps from my niece's quilt. Um, yeah. Um, so I sew diagonal both sides of the line. And then I cut on the straight lines. And then it's supposed to make each big square like this is going to make eight um, half, no, not half square triangles. Half, yeah, no. It's going to make eight um, squares that are half, like half the background fabric, which is this kind of like, it's not muslin, but it's kind of muslin color. So this each square is going to have half of this and then half of whatever t-shirts on the back. So I'll show you more next week. So today I'm going to be so doing some sewing on that. Um, so things are coming along. It just, I have a lot of work left to go, but I'm making good progress. And the other work in progress, I'll tell you, it's all about end of the year graduation stuff right now. Um, I have made a lot of progress on my niece's graduation Afghan. So let me show you the best I can here. So here is the afghan. Here is how long it is now. And of course, it's still the same width, thank goodness. <laughs> this pattern is really great. It's the first impressions pattern from um, Alice's Embrace. And it's so good at, I mean, if you have trouble like with your edges or your rows getting like shorter or you're losing stitches. This is a really good one um, to help to help that not happen. It's just, I don't know why. I think it's just because of just the nature of it. I mean, it's, I have not lost, knock on wood, I have not lost a stitch yet. Or I haven't, I haven't, you know, sometimes on the end, I don't know about you, but I tend to, um, when I'm doing something like this, I tend to not, go as far as I'm supposed to and then so my next row is not as long and then pretty soon your project is going like this. <laughs> this one is good for that not happening. So I put a stitch marker in or a progress keeper. So this is the bottom of the blanket and then here's where I showed you last time. Last time I was right there. Let's see if I can get it back. There we go. Last time I was right there and so since then I have done this much I have done a lot. So I I would say maybe I'm like a third to a quarter of the way finished. I'm not really sure. Um, but I'll take off my progress keeper now and I'll put it where I'm at today. And then next week I'll show you some more about um, how much progress I've made. I just, I'm really enjoying this and I don't, typically enjoy working on blankets. Um, this one goes really fast. So I think that's helping a lot. And it's so pretty. I just love it. Okay, so progress keeper in for this new row that I'm starting. So yeah, I am definitely going to be making this pattern a lot. I just love it. And I think if, it, if I was the recipient, I would also love it because of the holes in it. And just like, you know, you can put your fingers through it and it's just, it's just comfortable. And again, this is with the Pound of Love Lion brand. Hi, Molly. Molly's coming to join us. Um, Pound of Love Lion brand in the color Creamsicle. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want, girl? You can sit in my basket if you want. Yesterday, I had my this in here. And I was talking to a friend on Zoom. And so this was not in the basket, but
but the basket was sitting here on the table and she curled up in that basket, Molly did, and she stayed there for like an hour. <laughs> You're a silly girl. All right, so everybody wants to see you, Molly. Where are you at? Everybody wants to see you. Molly, everybody wants to see you. Everybody wants to see you. Yeah, this way. There you go. <laughs> Crazy cat. Um, anyway, Maggie's out playing somewhere. They just get they just got to go outside. So they were out playing. Yeah. I know. Alright, so that's those are my works in progress. And this coming week, my plans are to start the T-Rex, the Timothy T-Rex pattern. Uh, I'm going to do them the same way I did the Swaddle Babies, is I'm going to um, do like assembly line, sort of, where I do all the parts, and then at the end I sew them all together. Um, that's just a lot better for me than to like do a, one completed dinosaur, and then, okay, now i got nine more. I'm going to do another one. Okay, now I have eight more to do. Um, and I know everybody's different. Some people would th think the the parts and pieces assembly line that would drive them crazy. And sometimes it does, but lately that's what I've been kind of tending to do. So, so this week I pulled out red. It's like a brick red kind of, it's not called brick red, but that's what it looks like. Come on. Oh, Molly. <laughs> um, and for the, like the body of the dinosaur, and you can see one of my Timothy T-Rex is up there. It's Oh, if you can see it, it's kind of far back. But then I'm going to use um, my Super Saver buff for the stripes. And then I think, so I'm going to do five like that. And then I'm going to do five maybe in a blue. So yeah, that's the plan for that. Um, I'm going to continue working on this. I'm going to get all of these sewn and cut. Each quilt has 28 of these big blocks. Um, so I'll have 56 to do those. I'm going to start sewing on my niece's quilt. And yeah, so busy week ahead. <laughs> all right, everybody, that's all I have today. Feel, um, feel free to go and check out my ballerina pattern. I will hopefully remember to put a link to it in the description box. So if you would like to go check that out. Um, and thank you, thank you, thank you a million times thank you to everybody who has been purchasing my Swaddle Baby pattern. Um, I, I really appreciate that. And I even sold a couple of my firework patterns. So, yay, it's exciting. It's exciting, to, it's exciting to think that somebody will want to buy something that I made. Um, even if it's just a pattern. But still, it's, 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 it's exciting. <laughs> It's flattering. So I really do appreciate that. Um, all right, everybody. I am going to sign off here and go get busy sewing. So have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.